Well, you have three days to close out this chapter. Saturn today on November 15th is moving direct in the sign of Pisces. Its ruler is still retrograde in Pisces, so we're going to leave that alone. But why do I say three days? It's because today is a transition day. I don't really count it. And then we have the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th. Those are the days I'm talking about. And then on the 19th of November, Pluto is going to move into the sign of Aquarius. That is an ingress day, so we're not counting that. That's a whole other chapter. And that is what I'm talking about here, is that it's an entire new chapter because Pluto's not coming back into Capricorn, which means as a ruler of Pluto, Saturn has three days. So anything that has to do with debt and trauma and shared resources and really using your willpower and diving to the depths of something with intensity and transformation as it leads into Pisces themes through the traits of Saturn, which has to do with authority and your long-term goals and success, achievement, completing things, especially in the realms of spirituality, creativity, anything behind the scenes, film, music. You want to make sure you're using these three days with Saturn moving direct to actually put the outward authority. Now, I do want to warn you or tell you that because it's just now moving direct and you have those three days, it is not about a forward motion into the future. It is no longer retrograde, so it's not about going back to the past and compounding and revisiting these themes. It's a very much in the now type of energy, which is why I say don't waste these days. Pluto going through Capricorn, that's it. We're done. We're finally done. For some people, it's like, yay! For other people, it's like, oh, damn, I didn't get everything done. And you want to. So whatever house that Capricorn sits, you want to focus on this. And then there's a dual rulership. So you have the cosmic rulership, and then you have your chart rulership. So for me, I'm a Leo rising. Capricorn's in my sixth house. Pluto moving through Capricorn has to do with my mental health. It has to do with my daily routine. It has to do with my physical health as a result as well. My J-O-B or my work. Anything that has to do with the details and analyzing things. And that cosmically is feeding into Pisces in my eighth house. So transformation, shared resources, debt, all that kind of stuff. And then for my natal chart feeds into my third house with my Saturn retrograde uh, in Libra in that house. So it has to do with communication, writing things, so on and so forth. You want to look into your chart to see how this is affecting you, or you could book a reading with me, or you could join Mystic Circle and learn this for yourself. The other things that are happening that are extremely important is that Pluto moving into Aquarius is going to activate Uranus theme. So right now it's about what's behind the scenes that needs to get done, uh, you know, buttoning everything up so that you can move forward. Because after these three days, we are now shifting it into how are we going to make that money? How are we going to revisit these themes? Because Pluto's ruler uh, in Aquarius would be Uranus. That is still retrograde in Taurus. So it's all about how are we going to revisit these themes to bring value and money back into the structure that we're trying to set up. So it's not the focus on the structure. It's not the focus on the media and the film and how we're setting it up and how we're trying to achieve uh, anything. It's about how are we going to make money off of it? What's the value of it? How are we going to attract people into the thing that we're doing so it makes it worth doing? At the same time, what else is important? I mean, there's so much to talk about, but I want to make this a shorter video, is that uh, Venus is actually in Capricorn right now. So even once Pluto shifts, it's still going to bring you back to Saturn. So all the structure is not for naught. You have to be um, actively pursuing something that's going to bring a level of shiftable achievement. And during these three days, the moon is going to go from Taurus into Gemini for two of those days and then land in Cancer. So those areas of your life, for me, uh, Taurus is my 10th house, Gemini is my 11th house, and then Cancer is my 12th house. Those are going to be the houses that are activated by all of this. The moon is the trigger, is the activator. If this helps you and you want me to do more energy forecasts, let me know. If you would like to join our school and learn alchemistic astrology for realsies so that you can use this type of energy to do amazing, abundant things, join Mystic Circle in our bio. Anyway, thank you for being here. Use these three days. Transform anything uh, that you need to in your life so that your structure and your authority is outward, is present, and you have a trajectory to where you're going, setting your goals to achieve what you want so that you can vibe higher.